Hi everyone, so it is December 8th and this video is going to be a little bit different than the rest of my videos so far uh, because this isn't going to be a complete walkthrough of a pattern. It's going to be more of a book review slash giving you ideas for different quick projects you can put together as gifts for the holiday season. So I love these type of books that are just really quick um, projects to work on. And oftentimes they have really, really cute results. Like look at this zip bag. How many zip bags have you seen? Tons. Like there's endless options for them, but this one is a little bit different because it has a cute little ruffle across it. So I just recently purchased this book. I think it just became available in September, if I remember. It's called It Takes Two because it's quick and easy patterns for um, using just two fat quarters. So I know as sewists and quilters, we often have way more patterns than we want or than we will ever get to, that we want to do, but we'll ever get to. And we have tons of people that we would love to make something for. Um, that not only adds up in time, but in materials. So I think having something like this on hand, and there's tons of different books like this, is so important because it's a quick project and it takes up minimal materials because that really adds up, especially right now, I keep seeing the, pro the cost of fabric just go up and up and up. And I don't, like, I do a lot of different subscription boxes, so I get a lot of different fat quarters, and a lot of the times I'm not, like, really sure what I'm going to do with it. So this is a good way to use those up, too. So I'm going to do a few of these patterns. Like I said, I'm not going to do a walkthrough. I may only show one or two that I'm going to put together, and then I'll kind of tell you what I thought of the pattern, what I thought of the book. I'll put a link to the book, book in um, the description. And my hope is to also put some other ideas down in the description as well. Some links to some of my favorite patterns, maybe some that I've done in the past that would be quick to put together. There's a ton of blogs that I follow that have um, free sewing patterns on it from time to time that are really quick projects. And if you have some favorites, please put them in the comments too, because we can all help each other get some of our sewing done for friends and family by providing ideas to everyone. So put those down in the comments. So the one pattern I am for sure going to show you is the Dainty Ditty Bag. So I'm gonna try not to show any of the pattern information because this is a book for purchase. How cute is this? So I've seen a ton of different, you know, drawstring pouch bags and, you know, different options for doing that. But I think this one is just darling. So why I chose this one is because one, we are going to be giving out tons of books coming up, right? Or tons of books, tons of gifts coming up. And I think a bag like this is a really cute gift because you can give it to the person as the gift bag, right? It can be two gifts in one. You tuck something into the bag. Maybe it's some cozy socks. Maybe it's a sweet little bracelet. Um, there's so many things you could put in there, even just little treats or a gift card or something like that, but then you're still giving them something from your heart, something that you made along with something else. So I love those. Um, I just, I love making little bags like that. I think they're just darling. And you could do it in Christmas fabric um, as a um, Christmas uh, gift bag along with a gift, or you could do it in fabric that you know the recipient would like and use over and over. Um, it'd be a nice way, like my daughter does soccer and a lot of times she'll forget to take out her earrings and jewelry off. It's a cute little pouch, something like that, that she could keep in her bag for doing that. It could be something that people use um, going on vacation to put some of the jewelry in that they want to take or maybe a little bit of makeup or whatever they definitely will be able to get use out of them so in this book in the back you'll find all the templates that you need for patterns um, that require a template so for this 
little bag. I have to go um, pull out this pull out <laughs> and use it to trace part of the bag pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get started on this project. So hopefully I can get to another one to show you to let you know how I feel about the book and the way the patterns are rented, written. You know I'm gonna be super honest about that. I, in the past, um, I've gotten some really strong opinionated people um, upset with me for saying anything bad about some of the different things. I don't mean it in a negative manner. I just mean it to help all of you who maybe have similar struggles when it comes to how patterns are written or things like that, so that you're just aware, because it's a lot of money to spend on a book and on different things that um, might not be suited to you. It doesn't mean that it's a bad book or a bad subscription box or bad fabric. It just means it's something that I didn't feel was right for me and I try to explain why so that if you have similar thoughts then you know it might not be a purchase for you but maybe it's something you could give to somebody who you know you would like it right okay so I'm gonna make two of the little bags because I'm gonna use them for my kids for one of their gifts so I'm gonna use this fabric for my daughter so I think this is gonna be for the main part of the bag try to get some of this design in if you remember I got this in my cotton cuts um, last the last box and then this will be for the accent um, and then for my son I have this really cute snowman fabric and I'm gonna use this for the accent so I'll show a little bit of recording of the bag as I make it um, any parts that won't give out any um, pattern information uh, you know what I mean by now, right? I don't wanna give up any of the measurements or anything like that. Um, so I'll show those parts and if I get to it, I really wanna make one of the pouches uh, for my daughter. I think she would really like it. So if I get to that one, I'll make that one as well, show a little bit of the recording um, and just let you guys know at the end, my thoughts on the pattern. Let me show you, so here in the contents, just so you can see, um, what all patterns are in here and hopefully on the front you could see kind of what's all available in the book and then the back so this is um, it takes two and it's Barbara Groves and Mary Jacobson of me and my sister designs so just so you know like I said I'll put a link to it but I'm gonna get started I'm gonna press this fabric get the template ready and get started started so keep on watching okay so I have everything cut for two bags and just so you can really see it's such a light amount of fabric that you need to make these cute little bags so here is the main part portion of the bag that was used that I used the template to cut out and then here's kind of the cuff top of the bag um, and then these two strips are going to be used for the drawstring. Um, so basically all I'll be doing next is putting the little cuffed accent right sides together, stitching across quarter inch seam, um, do that on both. I am gonna try to uh, make sure that I'm keeping it so that um, this fabric's a little directional with the trees and stuff, um, keeping it all facing the direction I would like. So I'm gonna sew that across there on both of those and do the same for the second bag that I'm doing. So right sides together and then I'll sew across, right sides together, sew across. And then for the drawstrings, I'll be folding both sides into the middle and then folding those middles together and then stitching across um, an eighth of an inch top stitch. So I'll be doing that on all uh, four of these. Now I'm going to press those and get it all ready to do right away because I just find that easier. It is later in the pattern, so if you are following it and you're wondering why I'm doing it right away, if I sit down to the sewing machine, I try to get as much sewing done as I can. So I read through the whole pattern and this step, you know, you have to do that 
press get the next one ready but if i see that there's more sewing i can do on other pieces i'll go ahead and get those prepped as well so i can sit down and do it all together all right i'm going to keep working on this bag So now that my little drawstring bags are finished, I am going to work on the ruffle zip pouch. So here's what you need for the zip pouch. I have a zipper here with the pull. I think I put it off screen. So a coordinating zipper with the pull. And then you just need two fabrics that are fat quarters. So here's going to be my lining and here is going to be the outer of the bag and here using the lining fabric so that it'll be an accent is going to be my ruffle pieces um, and then you do need some fusible lightweight batting I did not have that so I just cut some scrap batting and I'm just going to fuse it to the piece using some spray hopefully that will work well enough I'll let you know if that's an issue and you should absolutely get some but trying to use what I have here. So as you can see, I already have my pieces cut. Um, so I'm just gonna start working through the pattern. At the end of this video, I will talk about my thoughts on this pattern a little bit in more detail and then the zipper pouch as well. Okay, so here is my finished ruffle pouch, and here are the finished um, drawstring bags. So my thoughts on the book, there it's really, really easy to follow. So the patterns are very beginner friendly, I would say, and there are tons and tons of photos, show it quickly, that help you along the way to finish your project. Um, the descriptions, like the writing and everything is really easy to follow. Every now and then they put a few like tips along the way to help you. So it's a very, very beginner friendly book. I put this zip pouch together in no time at all. It did not take me long. 
it is really cute. Um, I don't prefer how it's sewn to close up the sides because it really makes it hard for it to hold its shape. I'm guessing once you put your, whatever you're wanting to put in it, it'll hold together a lot better. Um, the inside of it, the way it's constructed makes it really beginner friendly because you don't have to um, leave a seam open and flip it, but it does leave a raw edge doing it this way. And um, I put a few zigzag stitches to hold it for now, but it does suggest like you could put a binding or something across it. So I might do that since I have a ton of leftover fabric from um, these fat quarters. So overall, it's a really cute bag, um, but there are a few things like the way the lining is sewn in in the sides that I'm not sure if I would make a ton of them um, just because of that. I just really love the ruffle. Now these bags came together so easy and I think they are really, really cute. I love the shape and I think they're really functional. Now, just so you know, this one um, doesn't have a lining, so you do have the raw edge along here. And I didn't notice anywhere in the book it's saying to snip along the corners. I ended up doing that because it wouldn't lay flat, like it wanted to pull at the seam along here um, and not lay straight. I'm gonna guess they didn't say to clip those because if you do, um, you know, it could help it unravel a little bit more. So I might think on this and see if I can figure out a way to attach an, a lining inside of this bag because I really do love the shape. Now, one thing, when I showed turning this um, cuff inside of the bag, on this one, I didn't get it straight enough. So as I was sewing, I got a whole bunch of fabric that bunched up along the side over here, you can see. But when you pull it, which is how it's mainly gonna be, you're not gonna notice, but just keep that in mind when you're sewing. On this one, I didn't have the issue. Uh, that issue. This fabric is a little heavier, so it was easier to fold it and hold it in place. Um, but like I said, because it's along there, when you pull it, you're not gonna notice um, either way. So those are the two bags. I'd highly recommend the book if you do want some quick and easy projects. I looked at the other ones and I think they'll be just as easy to make. They turn out super cute. Um, oh, and this one did give an idea of putting like a little bead or something hanging from your pull if you just have a regular one. I had a little heart one that I put on there so I didn't decorate it. but. Um, I'd never thought to do that before and I thought it was really cute. Let me see if I can find the photo so you can see what I'm talking about. I try not to show too much of the pattern, but see, I thought that was a really cute idea. So anyhow, loved, 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 especially the little drawstrings. I think um, it'll be a really cute way to um, give gifts this coming up season, something that's reusable, not contributing to more trash. And I think the projects that I have tomorrow will be perfect to put inside one of these as a gift. So be sure to tune into that. And if you haven't already, go check out some of my unboxings for my quilt advent calendars. You might find them interesting. So I will see you guys tomorrow for the next projects. Thanks for turning in.